Now, the mission I'm asking you to accept, my little Smurfs, is extremely dangerous. I'm asking you to catch a thief. Let's catch that thief. You be careful out there, though, because it's extremely dangerous. You never know the sort of people that want to steal a newspaper. They're obviously ill-informed. That's why they need your newspaper for a start. Need to catch up on the daily news. Probably a little bit uneducated. They might have six fingers. They've got to be very good at picking things up. On the run, probably. So they're dangerous and they're weird. They're weirdos. That's what kind of people you could be dealing with. Weirdos. Dangerous, uneducated weirdos. Who knows what they're doing with that newspaper? Certainly not reading it. I wouldn't read the newspaper if I stole it. If I had six fingers, and I don't, which I don't, but if I had six fingers, I, if I was stealing a newspaper, I wouldn't be reading it. I'd probably put it in the toilet or something. Put it there for the toilet, put it in the cat's toilet. I've been looking for quite a while for this thief. He's not easy to find. Now I say he, but it might not be a he. It could be a she. That's right. Yes, look at each other. It could be a she. It could either be, it could be one of you. It could be you, Summer. Is it you? Do you look like this? I'm not saying that, that all thieves look like this, but this one does. And that's no coincidence, is it? Do you have a stripy t-shirt? Do you? Do you like reading the newspaper? Hmm. I know it's not you, Summer. Lisa. I've heard different things about you. Do you steal from work, Lisa? Have you taken any tea bags home recently? Hmm. You need to have a good look at yourselves, you girls. You need to have a good close look around. Because you know why? Because I've been looking around. And I know for a fact that it's neither of you two, so just relax. It was a bit of a test. It was a bit of a test, actually. Just want to see you now, see where you're going with this thing. See where you're going on your case already. And I say case because it is a case. Because you've started now, you've accepted it, haven't you? So you need to keep on track and trying to find this, this, this man. Not necessarily this man. Don't, look, don't go looking around for a man like this. Stripey t-shirt with a gun. That's a bit too obvious, isn't it? If I was going to steal a newspaper, I wouldn't have a gun with me. It's a bit of an overkill, isn't it? Unless, of course, he is a killer. Maybe he is a killer. Maybe he's taking the newspaper to put over a body that he's killed somewhere. Probably in the neighbour's vegetable garden. Under the parsnips or something, probably. Something with a lot of growth. Very green growth at the top. Something's going to get good nitrogen from the soil. Probably parsnips or beetroot, I'd say. Not potatoes, because you have to dig down too deep. That'd be too obvious. Not pumpkins. Weird. Probably parsnips or carrots or something like that. But I digress. That, that might not be the case. It might not, but it might be. It might be, Summer. Don't smile, because it might be the case. If I was a dead body under some parsnips, you'd want to find me, wouldn't you? Exactly. you want to find me in the newspaper. And don't go looking for someone with a stick, because that's just representation of the character. That's why I need to hold him. Otherwise, it'd be like this. My whole presentation wouldn't have so much impact, would it? No. Exactly. So just about your business, and be discreet about it, too. Don't just bowl up to everyone and ask if they've got Willie's newspaper. Make sure, you know, investigate. Ask them some lighter questions, like, do you like to keep up with the daily news? Do you like general knowledge? Do you like reading your star sign? Do you read the financial news? Would your whole world collapse if you didn't get the financial news to read how the economy's going? Because some people are like that. I'm like that. That's why I need my newspaper. I miss my newspaper. I haven't had my newspaper for quite some time now. So ask questions like that. Ask them, ask them if they know how I feel. Ask them if they know how I bloody feel that I haven't got my newspaper. Ask them if they'll mop up my tears. Ask them. Ask them if they'll mop up my tears. Make me a cup of tea and console me. Tuck me in at night and tell me it's going to be okay because I haven't read the financial news for a week. Ask them that. Ask them if they'll hold me. Rock me gently as I fall asleep. Do you think they will? Will they? I don't know because you haven't found them yet. So get out of here and do it. Serious. Counting on you. <laughs>